Welcome to Guzzler. Hi guys, welcome to Guzzler Extra. Today we are talking about WandaVision again, doing another another Marvel one, Marvel Mondays. Yeah, Marvel, Marvel Mondays. Mondays. Uh, so we had episode four this week. Guzzler Extra. To me, the trailer for episode four was more exciting than the episode itself. Really? I, I, I will say, I, though, I loved that four. I'm avoiding the trailers in the future. I haven't seen the yeah. one yes. really in the future. I'm not going to watch any more trailers. But I thought this episode was amazing. I thought it was absolutely amazing. I oh, amazing. I agree. But I do but, agree that, that the trailer, they put some things in there they shouldn't have yeah. put in there. Like Darcy being back? I don't think that should have been in the trailer at all. No, I don't think the... Um, I can't remember what even... Oh, the, the radio thing with... Mm. With him doing that, that shouldn't have been the trailer because that's always been a mystery to us how it's happened. And it's put that in the trailer, that's quite a big thing. No, I agree. I, yeah, I think we, the trailer showed too much. We should say as well, this is definitely a spoiler thing. Oh, yeah, of course. If yeah, you haven't yeah. seen yeah. it, then. Spoiler alert. Darcy's not back. <laughs> <laughs> no right. spoilers. So, yeah, so I thought it was a marvellous episode. I thought that it was. it. I think it was key to have it there because of the information that they gave us. I think if we'd done that in like six, like, sorry, in like two, three episodes time, it'd be too far. Yeah. Mm. So to have it now is like, however, I know that they're only like half hour, like 20 minutes long, but at the point at the end of the episode, when it went into the TV series again mm. and it carried on and then it ended, I thought we was halfway through the episode. I thought it was going to be the first half was in the real world right. and the second half was going to be back See, in the See, that kind of annoyed so me as well. The actual credits rolled, I was like, Wait, that's just the I, end. Want, I wanted to see more like of that, the one division story progress. I, I thought it was a bit early, or it feels like it at the minute, for all of the shield stuff to come in. I'm sure it will work out. Yeah, but I end. feel like, yeah, because like this this episode's like showing what happened. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like parallel to the other three episodes, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. And then I feel like from now that the story's going to be more blended than it has been so like before the first three yeah. episodes were like whole sitcom with the odd weird thing happening whereas i feel like now things are going to be a bit more merged and a bit more sort of outside world inside world outside world inside world mm. because we've, we've got it like properly confirmed now well i say properly confirmed it's mainly confirmed that this is wanda's vision however mm. people still think she's under control though yeah I, like when she um she throws Monica out. She uses her powers yeah. again. She looks yeah. confused and upset that she's used them. Like she didn't really realise that she'd done it. Yeah. But I took that as because she's because she's living in this world and she's trying to believe that she's in this world, I think that she's like she's forgetting some of those things. Yeah, I agree with Louis. I don't She's con- she's convincing herself that, that is this is her real life. Yeah, maybe. I feel like people went so hard in on like the Mephisto and her being under the control thing that now they're looking for clues for yeah, that to still yeah. be true mm. see I've, I've, as you said I feel about not watching the programmes anymore I'm, I've stopped watching theory things mm. because because I like the idea now that a lot of the theories have been wrong and it's now just going to be I'm just watching it through now because I was really I was reading a lot of things and now I'm stopping reading because I want to just see it as it is now what, so if we start from the start of the episode yeah. It's uh yeah. It's her coming back from the snap. The snap. Yeah. Um and everything being absolute mayhem. One thing I really I, like that. One thing that yeah, annoyed like that. me about it though is it was mm. different to what the return of the snap did in Endgame. She came back like all the the bits of dust came back together. Yeah. But in Endgame or Spider-Man, it was literally like a click and they all it just like the blip, wasn't it? Yeah. Appeared, um, yeah. That, that is true. That is something that annoyed me a little bit. But is is that what actually happened in the end of Endgame? We, when we see him come back, they're in the basketball hall, aren't they? Or is it? Uh, it might be in Spider Man. That's far from home, I think. We're like all the band people oh, yeah, here instantly. They're, they're, oh, they're it, playing yeah. basketball and they just blip back. Yeah, yeah they literally where disappear. she almost like reformed from the the mm. the ash. Um, that kind of pissed me off a little bit. But anyway, scratching past that. Um, she goes to the sword facility, which is now sentient. I just weapon. want to say quick, quick, quickly. Yeah. Sorry, Dick, but like, I really like the fact that he went from hospital. I just think that was a really clever perspective to go. Yeah. And like, they were talking about like, oh, we haven't shit, we haven't got enough staff and things to like patients are just appearing. I thought mm. that was quite an interesting perspective for yeah. them to take. Um, yeah. And then she she goes to the sword facility, which um, they even note in the thing it moved from sentient. 
um, world to sentient weapon. Because yeah. obviously in the mm. comics it's world, but they even note in the, the show that it used to be world, but now it's weapon. Um, and you see a little note to Photon, her mum, um, yeah. which is obviously right. her name in the comics. Um, which... And she's in. She's this is the this is the woman from Captain Marvel. Yeah, this, this, is, this is a little girl. Um, this is her friend. Um, yeah, but her mum yeah, is, is. Yeah, her mum is the Captain friend. Marvel's friend. Yeah, yeah, and she's got the photo on the wall in in the. That's sword, it. Yeah. yeah, and photon the the name is what Monica's called when she gets her powers in the comics, right? Mm. From what I know. I don't really know that well, to be honest. I don't know. So don't so know. apparently in the comics, Monica gets Captain Marvel's powers or something like it. And they call her Photon. Hmm. Um, right. yeah, and then obviously they send her out to to Westview, is it? Um, yeah. And we meet Chu. Chu is back from Ant Man, um, and he does the card trick. Did you go back and watch it? Yeah, I've seen a I've seen a clip of it now. I've yeah, so obviously in Ant Man, mm-hmm. uh, Paul Rudd is doing all these magic tricks, and Jimmy Chu's like, "How do you do that?" And then in this one, he pulls out his business card using a magic trick and gives it to, to Monica. That's nice. Mm. So. so when we get to that bit and they do the... We first see they do the drone, the helicopter, mm-hmm. and it goes into... She flies it through, and then because she disappears, she stops flying it, which is obviously how it crashes into the, the bush in, yep. in the series. Um, I just realised my microphone's really far away from me. Um, yeah, then this is how she crashes in the series, which is where she finds it. Um, and then we're introduced to. Do you remember her name? We just spoke about Darcy. the lady from Four. Darcy. Darcy from yeah. Four, yeah. Who immediately solves everything the second she arrives. Yes. I, I do like the fact yeah, that she, they've used her, though. Yeah, yeah I really like Darcy. I like it, it makes really the whole really like MCU good. feel more interconnected and like yeah, 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 tied off. So she's discovered that it's a sitcom. Now, and I like the fact right. that they're, they're as confused as what we are. Here's the thing that annoys me about it, right? She rocks up. She says that in that spot, there's a large number, there's a large amount of CMBR. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Bollocks. <laughs> right. Now, do you know what cosmic microwave background radiation is? Yeah. Learned about it last week, it's, mate. You are? This is, this is what is from the... The Big Bang, the Big Bang happened. It's the the static on the TV, isn't it? Yeah, Big Bang happened, and loads of gamma rays were given out, like really, really high intensity energy, right? Mm. As the universe gets bigger and bigger, the energy spreads out, and it has to take up a larger amount of space. The wavelengths increase, and the energy changes waves, right? So now it's microwaves. Mm. It's gone from gamma. As the universe has got bigger and bigger, it's lost energy. It's gone down the EM spectrum, and it's become microwaves. Okay. It's like the background. It's the background radiation of the universe. It is just like the backdrop. So you can't have more CMBR in one spot because it's the background noise of the universe. If you've got radiation in one spot, you've just got radiation in one spot. It's nothing to do with the CMBR. That's the background noise of the universe. Mm, I see. Anyway, there's right. a little bit of physics that bothered me. I just thought, yeah. who wrote that, and why? In, in all, yeah. in all well, fairness, she, yes, there's she, a big purple dude with a nutsack for a chin Yeah, that terrorised people that had superpowers. Realism really isn't What's a strong your point? suit, is it? Yeah, but it's such an easy line to write with real physics. That's what annoys me. I'm happy to, like... as a, Obviously, as a scientist, I recognise sometimes you need to write wrong science, obviously. But when there's an easy bit of science to write instead of your bullshit, just write that. Good point. So she... She realised it was a sitcom. I like also they were, they were writing on the whiteboard all the questions that they had, like his vision yeah, line, like well. why a cool. sitcom and stuff. Is like it's just the questions, questions we have. Yes, yeah, questions that we were asking, isn't it? And I and I like that. Um, the 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 bloke they send down at the sewers because they're not sure if they um yeah if the like sort of the world yeah, yeah, continues yeah, underground. Yeah, it did. And then when <laughs> yeah. yeah, and when he gets there, it changes into a bee mm. suit, doesn't it? And he's now I've got bees of him, and also for a start, then it's in color. You are. It's in color there. Mm. When he first arrives, it's in color, and then when he gets up into the the world, it's still in color until we see it from the sitcom perspective, and then it's back in like sepia black and white. So for a while, we see that world in color. 
what I find weird about it, right, is cool. supposedly we're seeing the sitcom broadcast that they're seeing. Yeah. But we're not. We're kind of seeing a weird mo- like mix, and it's really confused yeah, me. The devil. Because like, there's mm. the bit where Wanda rewinds. Obviously, they don't see that, the rewind. No. Like, Wu and Darcy don't see that, but we see that. But then there's also the perspective of before the broadcast is made, which we saw at the end of this, where, like, Vision's dead and all that shit, which we're going to come to. Yeah. So there's, like, the pre-edited sitcom, then there's the edited sitcom, and then there's the real world. But the pre-edited sitcom, no one in that universe is actually seeing, only we're seeing it, and I just find it a bit strange. Yeah. Mm. That's true. That is a good point. It's happened yeah. quite a few times, I just thought it was a bit I, weird. I, because that, that, that shows that they're not actually living in a sitcom. Another they, thing then? is when... when um, uh, Wanda talks to the girl about Ultron there's three cuts of that we saw the real world yeah, one is. where she proper like blows her out their one cut pretty much all of it out completely and then there's mm. the one we saw in the actual episode yeah. which was like half of it and not the rest of it yeah so that does actually show they're not living in a sitcom we're seeing a sitcom but that's, they're not living in a sitcom that's a bit weird isn't it because there's, there's lots of different edits so there's not a, it's not actually a sitcom is it it's, it's made into a sitcom which is weird yeah, why the why the bee suit? Why did it change into a bee suit? Do we know? I think it was just to match the the yeah. His suit like, looked kind of like a bee suit. It's the only way they could have gone that would have kind yeah. of matched the scenario. Like the, the, like the helicopter, the drone turned into a little helicopter that was from around that time. So I think it just the, finds anything that could kind of the cable match. turned into a, a brightly coloured skipping rope. It just mm. flipped. Yeah, okay. but the bee suit thing does feel a bit weird. But yeah, his suit kind of like a bee suit, and I think it's just the the world making it into okay so yeah the next big thing as you just said off was the the vision thing yes now that was amazing i said this to you yesterday last night louis that when when me and my sister were watching it um and vision so vision stood off like out of focus behind wanda yeah yeah and he looked a bit weird he looked kind of like i don't he didn't look right Hmm. so i said to my sister i was like i guarantee he's going to come into shot and something's going to be wrong with him but I said to Louis that I, I thought that he looked, because he was like grey and really out of focus, I thought he looked like a black man stood there. And I thought it was yeah. going to be revealed that Wanda had just like rocked up to this um, town. Then like the first person she'd seen, she just like projected Vision's image onto him and he was going to be like, I thought it was going to go into his face and he'd be like all blacked out, his eyes would be like whited over and she was just making this guy act like Vision mm. and projecting his image right. onto him. I prefer what they did. Don't get me wrong. I really like the dead vision thing, but like that's what that's where my head went. That I think it's also a good idea though. If they didn't do what they done, then I think the um, because she realizes that she sees the dead vision, doesn't she, for a second? Mm. And it's like, which is which is what we, we were saying earlier about the fact that she she is convincing herself that this world is the real world, and then for a second she she forgets it. I think she's becoming more and more paranoid and more annoyed by the fact People that people keep interfering. That she, mm, 100%. yeah, and this is where her like. But the moral of this story is that that we need to fund the NHS with more mental health things. If not, Wanda wouldn't have got herself in this situation. <laughs> something co- she sure. just needs some extra something help. Something of note we talked about in our last episode, where um, Monica got thrown out and she was still in the clothes that she had in. And obviously, mm. you thought that she went in with them clothes. We now know that she didn't. She was in a sword uniform no, when no, she no. went in. I think that, yeah, I, I did say she could have. But like, I still don't think that that's a sign of... like The fact she keeps her clothes on isn't impressive for Wanda's powers. The fact Wanda's commandeered an entire town yeah, yeah. is impressive. But what, I mean? what I mean but is I mean, yeah, she's yeah. not only affecting the reality of inside the town, she can also affect it outside yeah, but the reality, reality inside the town is the same as a reality outside of the town. It's just that's where she is. Yeah, I don't see the difference. Th- but w- what I'm saying is, why didn't Monica's clothes revert back to what they were? That's what I said last night. I was, I was like, confused by that. By, I by that, that I mean, she's actually now affecting the reality that it is outside of the town more than mm. or as much as inside the town now. Yeah, I know what you mean. I just think that like the barrier... She set up a barrier to make sure that her world's protected. Whatever goes into her world changes to match her world. Yeah. Because yeah. she's got this perfect... Well, she doesn't give a shit about the outside world. Things going out... Like, she probably would rather things didn't leave, obviously. But, like, things going out, she doesn't care. Mm. She's not going to change their clothes to match the outside world. She doesn't give a shit. She cares about her so, world. So her next-door neighbours... 
Mm. Because obviously in episode two, three, yeah, three, they said that um, they they were like because we're and then they cut it off and Vision was like what because you're what what do they what do we think that they are what do we think that's, that they think the that thing they are I, was gonna say to you. I, I don't know like, are they under because they they these are just normal people that live there is what we found yeah out. exactly yeah I, I I'm um, still adamant control? that she's Agatha Harkis but I think mm. the the black bloke. I don't know his character's name. The one that was cutting through the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Herb, isn't it? Yeah, I think I think Herb. he's a, a sword agent. Because they seem to know something's going on. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Um, but obviously, like you haven't seen the the second half promo, have you, Alf? I saw a little bit of it, but I don't think there was any. I I did actually I did actually watch some of it. I didn't watch it with sound though. I don't think there was much more footage in there than we hadn't seen before. Anyway, the 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 thing that's like really prominent in the promo was the um oh shit um Infinity Stone work that Wanda apparently does at some point mm. in the series. Now they've shown Dead Vision. Mm. Does that mean that she is going to play about with the Infinity Stones and bring Vision back somehow? I hope not. That's rather it's when characters are just... Louis hates, Louis hates it when people come back for some reason. But he's also a comic book fan and all they do is come back, so I don't really understand. But I think, I think, I think, that's, I think it's different in the comics because I think that like... like no one in comics has ever stayed dead. No, no one. Yeah, other than that... Gwen Stacy and... Um, Uncle Ben. I think that the we're in in comics, in, in films. So I think it's just like I like the fact. I, I think that's why I like like Game of Thrones set in series because you don't know when a character is going to die, and you you sort of fear that they might die, and when they die, it's like they're gone. Like you've got you've got to deal with that. And I like the fact that like that that you can you can face with actual danger of the idea that you don't know when a character is going to die and if they die oh, I think it just again. depends like how they bring them back really I, I, I do agree that sometimes it can feel really cheap and I don't like it but if they bring them back in the right way and Vision is Vision wasn't a living thing anyway it was just a fucking no, stone with was... some vibranium yeah. so I'm not really that so they bothered. could bring him back I don't think they no. will though and I, really like I reckon it'll, I, I, they might show her go. I reckon they might go through length to show her try and bring him back but I don't think they will because I think they are proper going the route of her being mental the, the, I think if Vision yeah. comes back, she's not going to be mental. The so. thing that annoys me about that, though, is what was the point of all the Shuri stuff trying to finish off her work in Infinity War if they were just going to end everything with Vision's storyline? Because I think that if they didn't try to get Shuri to do it, it would just be like... Everyone would be like, like why didn't they do that? Yeah. yeah. Maybe. But did you watch... Because imagine if they got to like someone who's really like a great scientist... And they were like, hmm, I wonder if anyone could help Vision. And she's just like, nope. Did you watch the um, the interview with Paul Bettany that they released the other day? When they, no. when Paul, I watched one on D23. Paul website. Bettany was uh, saying how he's got to work with a, an actor he's never got to work with uh, before. I saw, I saw that he said that, yeah. And everyone thinks it's Benedict Cumberbatch. I, I, well, I saw everyone thought it was Quicksilver. Oh really? I thought it was Quicksilver because I thought he was spotted on set. But when they done just before Wonder Vision came out, they done like a, a press conference of of the cast, and both Loki and Doctor well sorry Tom Hiddleston and Benedict Cumberbatch were in the press conference. But that makes I think sense. Doctor Strange makes sense though. Yeah, because yeah. obviously. Multi- so I, I thought it was already con- I thought it was already confirmed Scarlet that Witch Tom Hiddleston Witch. and Benedict Cumberbatch will yeah. be. Yeah, but I th- I'm, apparently, so what they think is going to happen is Wiccan and Speed are going to be brought up at Comatage. She's just gonna go because that's where her kids are, and he's gonna be there because he's a sorcerer supreme. So it's gonna lead into that weird. that film direction, and that's why they're there. It's not like an actual mm. plot device that he's gonna play a big part in that film or that TV show. Yeah. It's that she's gonna play a big part in his film, so they're shoving it that way. Maybe. No idea. I'd like to say as well that the rumours for Quicksilver are Evan Peters Quicksilver as well. That's how mental the rumour is. Really? Oh, really? Yeah. It's not... Uh, what's his name? Aaron Taylor Johnson? T- Aaron Taylor Johnson, yeah. Uh, I've seen rumours that it's going to be Evan Peters. I don't think that will be a thing. I don't think that But everyone will be a thing prefers the er- er- Evan Peters one. He had some freaking nice scenes. He did. To be fair. In Days of Future Past, that was a pang. Yeah. But mm. yeah. Wow. Cool. Nice. And also, to be fair, not that this really matters, but... Um, 
but obviously Marvel had got all their plans planned for ages, what they wanted ages, to do and things like that. Yeah. Um, and it said that Aaron Taylor Johnson was on contract until the year 2020, even though he died. So mm. it makes sense that you know that they were going to reuse him for something. Mm-hmm. And 2020, you know, this would would have been filmed then, so, yeah. I like how we spoke about this just as much as we did the first three episodes. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Cool. Well, we'll see what happens next week, and we'll come back with it on that following Monday. Yeah, so so thank you for tuning in for Marvel Mondays, uh, our little chat. Hope you enjoyed. We'll, um, well, we'll see you next week. Lots of love. Thank you for listening to this Guzzler podcast.